The U.S. President's son, Bo Biden, passed away from brain cancer in 2015 at the age of 46. U.S. President Joe Biden, R., visits Knox Shrine and Basilica with Father Richard Gibbons and touched part of the gable wall of the original church where the apparition is said to have happened on April 14, 2023 in Dublin, Ireland. U.S. President Joe Biden has traveled to Northern Ireland and Ireland with his sister Valerie Biden Owens and son Hunter Biden to explore his family's Irish heritage and mark the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Peace Agreement. U.S. President Joe Biden broke down in tears at Knox Shrine in Comeo on Friday, after a chance meeting with the priest who performed the last rite sacrament on his son Bo Biden. Joseph, Bo, Biden III died of a brain tumor on Saturday, May 30, 2015, at the age of 46. Bo, a former Delaware Attorney General, was found to have brain cancer in August 2013. During a visit to Knox Shrine on Friday afternoon, the U.S. President met ex-U.S. Army Chaplain F.R. Frank O'Grady, who is now working at the Shrine. F.R. O'Grady had been chaplain at the Walter Reed Military Hospital in Maryland where Bo Biden received treatment for brain cancer, but passed away in March 2015. Speaking about Biden's visit, the parish priest of Knock, F.R. Richard Gibbons, told the BBC, Biden, spoke about his, his family and his connection with his faith, and also about his son Bo who died. And it just so happened and this was kind of spontaneous, it just so happened that we have, working at the shrine here, the chaplain who gives the last rites of the last anointing to his son in the United States. Just extraordinary, and I didn't even know that, I didn't know that until the president arrived. I told the president that because I would have lined up the priests to meet him, so he wanted to meet him straight away. Outside Mayo Roscommon Hospice and Palliative Care Center, in the west of Ireland, on April 14, 2023, on the last day of U.S. President Joe Biden's four-day trip to Northern Ireland and Ireland. F.R. Gibbons said it was an emotional moment for the U.S. President, adding, he laughed, he cried, it just kind of hit the man, you could just see how deeply it all felt and meant to him. It was an extraordinary afternoon. I won't forget it, I can tell you that it was quite something else. Knock Shrine is an international Eucharistic and Marian shrine and a popular place of Catholic pilgrimage. The shrine has hosted numerous Catholic leaders, including St. Pope John Paul II in 1979, St. Mother Teresa in 1993, and Pope Francis in 2018. In 2021, Pope Francis recognized the site as an international Marian and Eucharistic shrine. Background Biden's visit to Comeo is set to end his four-day tour of the island after he touched down at the airport in Nakhon. The president broke ground at its construction in 2017 and sent a video greeting to honor the occasion when it opened in November 2021. A plaque at the entrance to the hospice is dedicated to Bo Biden's memory. Visits to Sanctuary of Our Lady of Knock and speech at St. Myrdaka's Cathedral in Balina show importance of faith to U.S. president It has already been visited by two popes, two saints and, soon, a U.S. president. The White House confirmed late on Monday that President Joseph Biden would visit the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Knock, better known as the Knock Shrine, during his trip to Comeo later this week. Joe Biden says his Catholicism a private matter but it is a big part of his political ideology. Pope St. John Paul II was there in 1979 to mark the centenary of the Virgin Mary's appearance in 1879. Mother Teresa, now also a saint, was there in 1993. Pope Francis visited in August 2018. On Friday, the shrine will have another high-profile visitor in Biden, just the second Catholic to be elected U.S. president. The first was John F. Kennedy, elected in 1960, who visited Ireland 60 years ago. Will we ever see another Irish-American president? Joe Biden is a throwback politically. Future links between Ireland singing the green and the red of mail. Well, I tell you what, it means the world to me. It meant the world to me and my entire family to be embraced as Mayo Joe, son of Balana. My mother, my grandmother, who was maiden name was Blewett, they're smiling down on me right now. And I can tell you what, that song speaks to me. It goes like, oh, the feeling that came over me to stay forevermore, forevermore, stay forevermore. And on the green and red of mail, oh, the green and red of mail, oh, the green and red of mail.
The truth of it is, being here does feel, I know we're going to say, it feels like coming home. It really does. Over the years, stories of this place have become.